Hey, welcome back to How to Barbecue Right. I'm Malcolm Reed, and today I'm gonna to show you my take on mini turduckins. Now, a turducken is a Louisiana dish that's served at the holidays. They take a deboned turkey, stuff it with a deboned chicken and a deboned duck, and it's got all these good seasonings and stuffings in between each layer. When you put it all together and cook it and you slice it up, your guests get a portion of the turkey, the duck, the chicken, and it's really packed full of flavor, and it's something that's unique for your Thanksgiving holidays. And I'm gonna show you kind of a mini version of it where I'm just using the breast of these birds. I've got a turkey breast, chicken breast, duck breast, two different kinds of stuffing we're gonna put between each layer. We're gonna wrap it all up, get it covered in a bacon weave, and get it on the smoker. Let's get to cooking. So we're starting out today with a couple turkey breasts, a boneless skinless chicken breast, and a couple boneless skinless duck breasts. Now the turkey breasts were the one things that were hard for me to find. I just bought a whole turkey breast that was bone in and cut off each side to make these breasts. The chicken and the duck breast were at my local supermarket, so you can probably source those at yours as well. So for the stuffings in between each layer of these mini turduckins, the first one I'm using is a spicy pork sausage. I've sauteed some mushrooms and onions and a little bit of olive oil. And then I've taken the spicy sausage and browned it, put the mushrooms and onions back in, and then drain it when it's completely cooked and get all that fat that's rendered out off the way. And then I just mix in about half a cup of breadcrumbs with it. It makes a really good spicy stuffing. And for the next layer, I'm using a spicy crawfish boudin. I've just split the casings and squeezed all that good sausage out. It's got that rice mixed with it. That's what makes it a boudin sausage. And you could use anything for these layers. If you've got some stuffings that you like and that you think would go good with it, give it a try. So the first thing, we're gonna start with our turkey breast on bottom, and I've just kind of cut it down and butterflied it out a little bit. It's real easy to do. You just want it flat. You could even pound it a little bit if it's uneven, but these were just fine the way I trimmed them off. And we're gonna start with the layer of that spicy pork, mushroom, and onion sausage. And you don't have to get real crazy with it because we're gonna stack a lot of stuff on here and you don't want it too thick. I'm just putting, you know, two or three tablespoons of the stuffing on there. That looks right to me. The next thing we're gonna add is some thin sliced and butterflied out chicken breast. That's our middle layer. And you don't have to season between each of these layers because the spicy sausage and this boudin, these are the, gonna be the seasonings for the inside of our turduckins. And the best thing about it is we're gonna wrap them with bacon on the back side, and it's really gonna add some flavor to the top. So now we're going down with our duck breast, and that's it, that's the three layers of the turducken. So what you wanna do now is just kinda of fold up the turkey breast around it, and then bring the plastic wrap up and over. And we're gonna roll it up real tight. Just squeeze it all together and keep it wrapped tight. It's okay if a little bit comes out the end. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna twist these ends. That looks good to me. It's got a nice shape to it. I'm gonna knock this other one out and we're gonna put them in the fridge for a couple hours. The plastic wrap wrapped up tight is gonna help them hold their shape. All right, after those turduckins have been hanging out for a couple hours in the refrigerator, you wanna go ahead and get your grill fired up. I'm gonna be cooking on my big green egg today, indirect cooking with that plate setter. I'm using some Royal Oak lump charcoal and a couple wax cubes to get the fire going. After just a few minutes, you can go ahead and put some wood on it. I'm using cherry today for a nice mild smoke. It's gonna go perfect on these turduckins. Put your plate setter in and get your grill grate on, and then close the lid and check those vents back because you want it about 275 to 300 day. It's perfect for getting those turduckins cooked at the same rate on the inside, and it's also gonna brown the bacon on the outside. And always, you can use any cooker, just run it about 275 for 300. Some indirect heat will be perfect for this cook. Now we're gonna make our bacon weave. And I'm just doing basic nine by nine bacon weave. Uh, you wanna start out on some butcher paper, some wax paper, that's gonna make rolling the bacon around those turduckins easier. Just lay your bacon out in strips and make sure it stays close together. And then we're just gonna alternate folding the pieces back and forth to create that kind of basket weave pattern. You wanna go ahead and make two of these if you're doing a couple of them like I am today. Now we're gonna be ready to wrap these turduckins in this bacon. So I'm just unrolling our turducken here. Be careful with it. You don't want it to come apart because it's not tied or anything, but it has shaped. And we're going to put it on and just take your bacon and bring it over. Now, using this butcher paper here, it makes that bacon come off real easy. It doesn't stick. It's a little bit trickier with plastic wrap. You just want to take your time and make sure the bacon comes right off. And you can fold it back. There we go. And we're just going to bring the other side up and over. Easy as that. Then for our ends, you can trim them off, but what I'm gonna do is just fold them up today. I think it's easier, and hey man, all that extra bacon, it's gonna cook, it's gonna be great. Now we're just gonna roll it over. 
Look at that. Perfect bacon wrapped mini turduckins. Got all that spicy pork sausage in there, that layer of boudin with the duck and the chicken. Now, what we're gonna do to get it ready to go on the grill is I've got one of my little chicken racks here and I'm gonna spray it with some cooking spray so the bacon doesn't stick. And then we're just gonna transfer it over. Let's see, that's the easiest way. Pick it right up and set it right on. All right, the big green egg lined out 300 degrees. It's time to get these mini turduckins on. We're just gonna set them right on the grate on these little chicken racks. Real simple. They're over that plate setter. We're just gonna keep the lid closed on the green egg, hold those temps steady at 300. We'll worry about internal temperature in a little bit. First, they just need to get happy in that smoke. So our turducken has been on for about an hour and a half. Um, I just wanna take a quick peek at it and go ahead and get a thermometer in it. And I'm using one of these Thermalworks dots. It's a real simple probe thermometer, real easy to use. You just set the temp on it, stick your probe in your meat, and you can watch those temps. You can see on the big green egg, we've still got it running 300. Still got a little bit of that light cherry smoke rolling here. Let's take a look. Man, these are looking great. Our bacon weave's holding strong. Look, it's browning up. That's what you want to see. And we're wanting to take these to 165 today. I'm just going to probe one of these turduckins going right in the center. I want to go down halfway, and we're looking for... 165. You can see we're up to about 119, probably 120. Still got a ways to go. It's a good time to go ahead and get that probe in. Let's get the grill lid closed. We don't want our temps to get too hot on us. We're just steady going to hold those temps right around that 300 range. Um, it's okay if there's still some smoke going. We want them to absorb some of it, but you don't want to over smoke these. If the bacon does start getting too dark, we can always tint it and stop it. We'll check on them about 30, 45 minutes. We're just gonna watch these internal temperatures. Not much to the cooking, just watching and maintaining. Y'all stick around. Mm -hmm. Our dot alarm's going off at 165. It crept up to about 166, 167. I know that the smaller turducken's done. What I wanna do is use my thermal pen and just ver verify that we're getting the same reading. So we're going in about 166. It's, it's telling me the internal's done on the small one. Let's see what our big one is. We're running about 157 on it, so it's gonna need to go just a little bit longer. I'm gonna go ahead and get some gloves on and get the smaller one off, and what we'll do is we'll move our probe. And look how beautiful these turduckins are. I'm just gonna move the probe over. We're gonna go right in the center of the bigger one. Now, with these gloves, I can grab this one. I'm just gonna take it to the cutting board. I mean, check out that color. That bacon looks nice and brown. It's gonna be crispy a little bit. We know the internal's done, the stuffing's warm enough, everything's 165 at least. So we move this one to the cutting board and we're just gonna let it sit here, cool off, stop cooking. It's gonna let some of those juices go from the outside back to the inside. Rested about 15, 20 minutes, perfect time for our other one to finish up on the grill. We'll get them both off and then we'll cut into one, see what they look like on the inside. And you know I gotta try it, I can't wait. All right, so our other turducken hit temp. We let it go to about 165 and it needs to rest a little bit too. But we've already had this other one out for about 15 minutes. Y'all check these turduckins out. These things turned out absolutely fantastic. I mean, the color of that bacon is beautiful. The bacon weave holds up real nice and it keeps everything all together. And you know it's gonna be delicious inside. Now we're still letting this one rest because it just came off the big green egg. But this one, the smaller one, we're gonna go ahead and cut. And I'm just gonna cut it right in half because I want you to see what it looks like right in the middle. Let's see what this looks like. Look at that, that is absolutely beautiful. You've got your turkey layer, your chicken layer, you can see the stuffing that we did, the boudin, that spicy pork sausage with the mushrooms. That duck still has so much moisture in it. I'm gonna cut a slice here, I can't wait to try this. It's beautiful. We'll just cut this end up, how about that? Cut it in some nice slices, serving size. And you know, this is something totally different for Thanksgiving. Uh, a lot of people may not have seen this. Here in the South, you know, those guys down in Louisiana, they do those whole turduckins all the time. But I'm gonna have to cut a slice out of this dude because I've got to try it. I know it's gonna be juicy. I'm gonna get a piece. It's got a little bit of it all right out of the center. Check that out. It's got some of the bacon. It's got the stuffing. I've got a glove on, I don't care. Mm. That's so moist. And all three of those meats have a different texture. I mean, the chicken's similar to the turkey, but they're juicy, they're tender. You can really taste that pork stuffing and the boudin adds just a little bit of a spice that you don't expect to be in there. Mm. That's so good. It's incredibly tender. 
juicy. The bacon gives it so much flavor. There's, you get some of that cherry smoke from it all, but the flavors really combine and they, none of them cancel each other out. It all works together to give it really a good smoky bite. And I'm going back in for another bite with some of that bacon on the outside. Mmm, so good. Just real quick to recap what we did today. We started with two turkey breasts, two chicken breasts, and duck breast. We made a stuffing with some spicy pork sausage with some mushrooms and onions. And then we also uncased some boudin sausage. That was a crawfish boudin. You could use whatever kind you like. We layered it with the turkey, the stuffing, the chicken, the boudin, the duck. Then we wrapped it all up in a bacon weave and we got it on our smoker running about 300 degrees with some cherry smoke. You could cook it on any pit, just hold that temperature steady. And it took about two and a half hours. I mean, these ended up being pretty good size. I know I called them mini turduckins because a, a real turducken is the whole birds. But the bacon turned out beautiful on these. It really adds some flavor to the outside. The stuffings that we have in there mixed with the turkey and the chicken and the duck, it's really incredible flavor and you're gonna love this recipe. Hey, if you've ever wanted to try a turducken but you really didn't know what to do, give this recipe a try with just the breast. I promise you, you're gonna love it. And you can play with those flavors in the stuffing or even a glaze to make it all your own recipe. Thanks for checking us out here at How to Barbecue Right. If you like what we're doing, subscribe to our channel. It'll let you know when we put out new videos. You can also send comments and questions to our Facebook and Twitter feed. We love those. Y'all have a happy Thanksgiving and we'll see you next time. Hey, that's Cajun Thanksgiving right there. <laughs>